welcome to an introduction to Facebook Ads Manager. In this video, I will be taking you through what Facebook Ads Manager is and introducing you to the structure of Facebook ads as well as how you can name them. Now, before we jump into Facebook itself, we are going to take a look at the Facebook ad structure. Um, before we confuse you with all these glorious buttons. Um, so Facebook has basically a very simple tiered system for its ads. So the first level is kind of like the big level. Uh, it's where you set your intention. So you tell Facebook what you want to achieve. So the campaign is the what. Um, and this is where you make the decision, are you trying to generate leads? Do you want to get people to your website? Um, or is it just you want someone to watch a video? So Facebook asks you, what do you want to do? And you say, well, Facebook, I want to generate leads. And it goes, cool, this is the campaign that you need. So that's really nice and easy. Now, the second level down uh, from the what is we now need to tell Facebook where we want the ads to be. So we tell Facebook whether we want them on Instagram or Facebook or on both. We tell them who we want to target. So we tell them that we want to target um, people that look like our avatar, who might be like 20 to 24, like fitness or parents, whatever. We can build our audience at that stage. And we also tell them when we want to run the ads. So we might want to run them between a couple of dates or we just might want an ongoing campaign um, to get some leads through to the business. Now, traditionally the ad set was also where we determined the budget for your ad. However, Facebook is changing and it's changing all the time. So at the moment, you have the option to set your budget at ad set level so you can set it here so you can if you've got multiple ad sets because you can have lots of different ad sets in one campaign um, then you could set your budget here or you can choose to set the budget at the top level um, it doesn't really matter which way you do it as long as you kind of understand where you are uh, so if you set it at the campaign level what will happen is Facebook will use its smart algorithm to allocate the budget to the area within your campaign so um, to the ad and the audience that is responding the best so it can generate the best results because um, it's in Facebook's interest that it is doing the best it can because the better it does the more money you're going to spend with them because you're getting results um, so we'll cover off the budget side of things uh, when we go to set up ads because there are different rules for different types of ads um, around how much to spend but at the stage as long as you understand the campaign is the what um, so what you want to achieve at the ad set level, which is the second level down, that is where you decide where you want the ads to be seen, to whom um, you want them to be presented to, um, and when you want them to run. And then down the bottom, this is probably the simplest uh, level. This is just the creative. Well, I shouldn't say just the creative. The creative is what people see. So this is where you decide whether your ad has a video or whether it has multiple images. If it's a long ad, if it's a short ad, that's where you make all of those decisions. Um, and that's where you put your link to whatever you're kind of putting in front of people. Um, so that's kind of like the what again. This is like your offer, your call to action. So another way that you can think of this is you have a filing cabinet and Facebook Ads Manager is basically this big filing cabinet and each drawer represents a campaign. It kind of keeps everything together for you. Now within that campaign, you have folders and folders basically are there to keep um, information like information together so the folder is your ad set that is where you determine your um, audience um, and then within those folders you'll see a whole bunch of paper and that paper is the ads so that's kind of a way of thinking how it fits together and it's really important that you understand the level of the ads and the more that you um, are in Facebook and you're creating ads the the simpler this will become so it's a bit theoretical <laughs> can't even say the word at the moment but it will um, it'll all make sense shortly so don't worry too much if you're struggling um, or if you're like oh this seems a bit bit hard <laughs> it's not the more you do it the easier it gets cool so before we move into the Facebook environment I just want to cover off naming conventions very quickly now you're 
you'll come up with your own naming convention. But one thing that we do recommend is to keep things really simple is that you follow something like this. So at your campaign level, um, you put in your campaign objective. So this is what you're wanting to do, like leads or traffic, you know, traffic for generating traffic to a website. It could just be video for a video um, view campaign, which is when you just want to get people to watch your video for brand awareness. Um, so the first thing is you put in like lead the campaign identifier which is what you use to identify the internal campaign so it could be the name of your download um it could be a name of an event um for this one here it's lead ad ways to feast and then the date the ad was run now the reason i recommend including the date that the ad ran um is just so you can go back and use that information at a later date and you know what kind of campaigns you're you're looking at so for example you might have an annual event um, and you might want to compare this year's results against last year if you use the same naming convention all the way through your ads you can very quickly find the the right ads and you can compare the two and then know with the date which one you're looking at the second level down is your ad set. Now, even though the ad set um, has a lot of different things uh, within it, so you choose that where you want your ads to be seen, to whom, and when, um, we recommend naming your ad set after your avatar. So um, if my avatar was called Sally and she was into fitness and lived in Melbourne, then I would have my avatar name as um, Sally Fitness Interest um, lives in Melbourne. The more information you include um, in the ad set name, the more meaningful it's going to be from a reporting point of view. Um, and it also means that if you've got multiple ad sets, so you can have more than one ad set, I can run a campaign to people that are into health products as well as people who are into um, like business products. Then when I'm comparing the performance of each of them, I know what the difference is. So we just recommend to keep it as simple as possible. Um, and then down at the bottom level where you've got multiple ads running, we recommend that you um, name the copy. So the ad name. So for this one, it was Catherine Clark lead ad, copy one, uh, copy two, image one. So what that means is we've tried a couple of different copy variations. Um, so this was copy two, and we paired it with an image that we used in the original ad, image one. So this means if you're trying a few different things, like different images, different copy, different headlines, if you clearly identify what the difference is between the ads within the name, once again, it makes it really easy for you to sit there and kind of understand very quickly what's working and what isn't. Now that we're in Facebook business, we're going to go and have a quick look at Ads Manager and where you can find the campaigns, the ad sets and the ads within the different views that are currently available. So what you are seeing here is the new Facebook Ads Manager and this is a new interface that they're rolling out across Facebook and in fact we've only really had it for like the last week. Um, prior to the last week we used the older interface uh, which I'll be showing you. Um, and we were finding that some of our clients had the new interface, some had the old interface. And the reason for that is Facebook is always in beta testing mode. So they're always rolling out new features, taking stuff away, adding new things in, changing interfaces, and they will trial it with, with groups of accounts. So there is a very high probability uh, that you and I could actually be looking at something completely different. So what doesn't change, um, well, hopefully doesn't change, uh, generally the headings and the metrics and the theory behind it. Uh, so when we are talking about something, if you notice that your screen doesn't look the same, then you might just need to search a little bit harder for some of the headlines. Um, so we're in my account now, and to get to your ads manager account, you need to go to business.facebook.com and log in. You then need to go to this drop down menu and go to all tools. And then under the create and manage headline, you need to click on the icon, uh, the words that say ad manager. Um, and then that will bring you up with a screen that looks like this or um, looks like the traditional layout, which I'm just loading up now. Either way, as long as you have one of these screens in front of you, you are in the right place. If you do find that you don't have business manager or you're getting lost, um, 
make sure that you've set up Business Manager first. So check out our video for instructions on how to do that. Um, and if you're still incredibly lost, get in touch with us in the group um, or book a time with me and we can go through this together. Uh, so now that we're in the traditional, uh, traditional, the older Facebook Ads Manager view, um, you will see that it looks slightly different, but all of this looks relatively the same. Um, so the only thing that changes between them is instead of having your headings along the top, the other one has the headings down the side. So I'll jump back into the newer version after I've talked you through what's in this version. Um, so along the top here, we have some different tabs. We've got your account overview, which gives you total spend, um, uh, results, who's engaging with your ads, um, and all of that great information. We then have the second tab, which is campaigns. So going back to what we talked about earlier, this is where you set the intention of your ad. So you say whether you're wanting to drive tra traffic, brand awareness, um, people watching videos or generating leads, that's what you do. Um, you then, if you click on a campaign, it'll then take you down to an ad set level. Um, and then you can see the audience that you've uh, run the ad to and then if you click down another level so you click on the ad set you will see the ads that were presented to that audience um, so that's your creative and that's your audience uh, if you want to see more information you can click the view charts or you can click edit um, and that will bring you up with the the editing um, side of things and you can go through you can see who you targeted where the ads were placed um, and the res what success looks like. So what you're judging, it, well, to you, what success is. Is it link clicks, is it leads, whatever it is. Um, each layer, you can see a level of reporting, like performance, demographics, and placement. Um, and they're just nice graphical things that you can look at and kind of go, oh, that's cool, I'm reaching the right people. Um, we will go through uh, reporting in a separate video because it is quite an involved process. Uh, but for now, just have a poke around and see what you can find. Um, if we go down to the ads level and we push edit, that then gives you the opportunity to edit the creative side. So you can change the photo, um, you can change the text, you can change the links, and it will give you a nice wee preview. So those are the three levels. Um, you can just jump through them as well using the tabs. Uh, you also have reporting views down here. So there are some standard reporting views or you can create your own reporting view. Um, once again, we'll go through that in another video. We have a breakdown so you can view results by day, week, month, by who they're delivered to. So by age, by gender, by age and gender, and the list goes on. Um, and you can create reports that you can export um, and save as a Excel spreadsheet for your uh, reporting purposes. Up here, you can select the date that you want to have a look at. So the date range, whether it's the lifetime of the ad or just the last few days. Um, and then up here, you've got your accounts. So you, if you've got multiple ad accounts, this is how you jump through them. Now you might see that you've got one under your personal name and then one under a business name that you've set up. Always make sure that you are in the right account um, that you're running ads on. So everybody by default um, who has a Facebook um, has a Facebook profile will get allocated an account if you've ever boosted a post. So you will have an account somewhere and it will come up in Business Manager. So if you set up another account for your business, make sure that you've selected that. Um, if it doesn't appear in this menu here, then make sure that this is selected. So I've got Amanda Hawk here and then I've got Beyond the Board. So this is my Amanda Hawk um, ad account that's tied to my personal profile. But if I wanted a business one, I would need to go into the business account account to access it. Uh, so the next thing we'll do is jump into the new version of Ads Manager. So it's very much the, the same principle. You've got your campaign ad sets and ads that you can jump through and you can view results at any level um, or edit them and create them at any level. But instead of the tabs being along the top here, um, they're along the side. So you've got your account overview, you've got campaigns, you've got ad sets, you've got ads, but you also have this cool new tool here, which is called Creatives. Now, what Creatives basically does is it gives you a summary of all the creative kind of variations that you've used. Um, so if you're running the same ad to a multiple, so if we go up to this ad level and just get rid of this, and then go to Creatives, 
if we were running the same ad to a lot of different audiences, what this actually does is it gives you a summary of um, the ads and their results. They, uh, so if the ad was used like four or five times, it would actually give you a summary of, um, you know, this has been used in two ads and this was the total results generated by that ad. That was the total reach. That was the total cost per result. Um, so down here, here's another one. This was only used in one ad and those were the results. So it gives you a very quick way to be able to see what creative is actually performing across your whole account, which is a very nice tool that they've just introduced. Um, and it's really nice and easy to, to use. So if we go back to um, account overview and then campaigns, then that brings me up with everything there. You can click on each of these. So you'll see based on where the blue line is, where you are. So I'm at the ad set level. If I click here, takes me down to the ad level, which is awesome. And then on the left-hand side, sorry, right-hand side, um, you will see that you've still got your reporting menus here and different views, um, and you've got your breakdowns. So all of that information is in the same area, um, and you've got your, your date view here, um, and you've also got a refresh tool, so you can refresh it if you've been working on the account. Um, cool. So that is um, a very quick introduction into Ads Manager, into the two different views. You are now ready to go on and watch the next video and launch your first campaign, whatever it may be. So good luck with that. And if you have any questions, please get in touch with us in the Facebook group.